in Polk County. A near deadly crash involving a Polk County Sheriff's deputy cruiser. It's all caught on this video. Look at that. The deputy was leaving a traffic investigation on I-4 when his cruiser was hit by a semi. Fox 13's Ken Suarez shows us what happened next. When you see a law enforcement vehicle with its lights flashing on the side of the road, you have to give them room by changing lanes or slowing down 20 miles below the speed limit. Last Friday night, a semi-truck driver on I-4 didn't do either, and it turned into a very close call. We were fortunate. The good Lord was looking out for us. We could have had four or five dead people there very easily. A Polk Sheriff's Office cruiser was leaving the scene of a traffic investigation. The deputy perceived he had an open lane. Well, he didn't. As the deputy pulled off, a semi crashed into him. His cruiser hit an FHP vehicle, then careened towards three people, hitting and knocking one down, scaring the bejesus out of the other two. This amazing video is a dramatic example of what a momentary lapse in judgment can lead to. Something else is amazing. No one, as the sheriff said, was hurt. The Polk deputy, Juan Sanchez, was treated and released from the hospital. The guy who got knocked down, well, he's okay too. The trooper's car was tore up, our car was tore up, the truck was tore up. But no one was killed, which could happen next time if drivers don't move over when they should. In Polk County, Ken Suarez, Fox 13 News. Very frightening to watch that. Now, if you get caught violating the move over law, you could be fined $160 and get three points on your license.